everyone welcome back to a new video i've just wasted 16 minutes of my life doing the voiceover for this and then my phone decided that it wasn't going to save it so i'm doing it again <laughs> <laughs> I've picked out some acrylics and some bits and bobs that I want to use today. So I've got acrylic from Team Gorgeous. The first one here is called Love Heart. Someone asked if I'd use some more neon colours. So I decided to use Pop Tart, which is like this really bright neon pink. And Honey, which is um, a shimmery lilac, which is really pretty. Beauty Big Bang sent me some shells, which I love. They sent me different colours, but I'm going to use these two today. And then from Nail Sugar, I'm going to use these beautiful lavender spangles. I love these. They just give a really subtle effect. Oh, they're going to look mega. And then, because I haven't used dots for a long time, I thought I'd use these Hubba Bubba dots because I just felt like the colour, just they just went well with the whole thing. And I have got Pink Prosecco, which is a core acrylic from Team Gorgeous. I'm going to be using that one too. Um, the nail tip stand that I'm using is also from Beauty Big Bang. I think, yes, I'm pretty sure I do have a Beauty Big Bang discount code that I will put here for you. So if you want to buy anything, you can get 10% off. I also have a discount code for Nail Sugar, which I will put here. So you can all knock yourselves out and order loads of stuff and save a little bit of cheap discount. So this nail is heavily inspired by a nail that I saw on Victoria Derbyshire. I don't know if you say it Derbyshire or Derbyshire. I don't know how people say it. I'd say it Derbyshire. I don't know. But anyway, it was on her Facebook and I absolutely loved it. So she had at the top half of the nail, she had like a core colour I think and then at the bottom she had a marble and it went at an angle because where the colours meet where the top and the bottom of the nail meet she had glitter running through it so instead of using glitter I'm going to use the hubba bubba dots it sounds really funny when I say it fast hubba bubba dots <laughs> hubba bubba dots anyway um, I've just put in these if that when that if that when the acrylic dries um i will put a little bit of clear down apart from that hair i don't want that hair um so that the um dots have something to stick to so i'm yeah i'm using the dots instead of the glitter like she had i mean it was i just oh my god it was um, it was amazing i was like i need to try that so it looked something like this but hers was much nicer hers was amazing and I'm going to cap this now in clear. I don't want that little bit of glitter though. Did I put, did I, don't tell me I left that little bit of glitter in. Oh my God, I think I did. I did. Anyway, I'm going to finish capping it. Can't believe that. Anyway, I'm going to finish capping it. Come on, move on to the next nail. Here we go. Right, the next nail is going to be an ombre. So I'm using honey. That's going to go at the free edge. And you only need like a thin layer of this because we're going to put shells and spangles on top. And then the top is going to be the Love Heart Aquilic. Don't worry too much if this blend isn't perfect because we are going to go over the top anyway. Some people do ombres really well and I seem to have to really work at mine. I don't even know that they ombre very well in the end. They don't look like they do here but actually when I looked at it in real life it didn't look too bad. But anyway over the top of this we're going to put the shell. So on the lilac part of the bottom I'm going to put the pink shell and then on the top where there's pink I'm going to put the purpley shell. And then they're going to meet somewhere in the middle. And then I wish I'd done this first but I'm going to put some of the spangles in between the shell so I'm going to put a little bit of wet clear acrylic down so that the spangles actually have something to stick to I really really love the spangles I just think they give a really nice subtle it's just a 
just like a little subtle and you can't really sometimes you can't really see them until the light hits them and then you're like oh there they are and they're just like they're just really cheeky <laughs> cheeky little spangles oops i've got a well-known european furniture company coming to collect something that i purchased from them today and it's really mucked up my week because i've had to assemble it disassemble it i've had to source something else to store all my stuff and i've had to assemble that and it's just been this is why i didn't have a video oh maybe it's wednesday i literally it is wednesday i honestly didn't know if it was tuesday or wednesday and in my head i was like it's tuesday but it's actually wednesday but it's only because i didn't get a video up monday because i was having to flip in sort out furniture thanks to that well-known european furniture company that i will never use ever again Oh, sorry, rant, rant done. Oh, this nail is a colour blocking nail. I am absolutely rubbish at colour blocking. I'm not even going to be pretend to be good at it. <laughs> I'm putting the pop tart in a kind of shape in this in this top left hand corner, and I will leave. I'll come back to it in a minute. I'm just going to leave it to set. I know it's it's just it's tragic. It's just. Yeah, we're going to leave that. I should have not even put it on, but I wanted to put it on because I wanted to do a colour block now, even though I'm rubbish at colour blocking. This one's going to be a full marble nail. I don't know why I didn't put a bead at the cuticle area first and, and just work it down, because now I've got to go in and sort out that cuticle area. Hashtag plonker. Oh my god, right? I was thinking about getting some merch. I know you're probably like, why? But... Every, it's just to help my if anyone buys one it's just to sort of help fund my channel because i don't get a lot of money doing this and and i thought anyway and I, and I thought a way to you know to make some money would be to um to do you know do some merch anyway um i was thinking about getting some hoodies and having something on them like hashtag sticky shit <laughs> And then I spoke to Karen and, and we was like, we were both like, no, 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 no. We can't walk around with a hoodie on it saying hashtag sticky shit. And then I was thinking about it yesterday. And the more I kept thinking about it, the more I was thinking, oh, I really want a hoodie with hashtag sticky shit on. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I'll just shut up now because no one wants a hoodie with that on. Or do you? If you seriously, if you want a hoodie with hashtag, you know, uh, 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 let me know and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, moving on swiftly, I've put a bit of clear acrylic on, just a wet layer, and I'm going to put some of the spangles on um, in little trails through the marble. And then I'm also going to add some hubba bubba dots just oh, it sounds really weird saying it like that hubba bubba dots i can't get over that hubba bubba dots um i'm just gonna put them randomly on the nail but i'm not gonna put too many on like maybe like six or seven i don't want masses because i still want you to be able to see the marble underneath And then what I'm going to do is I'll put a little bit of wet acrylic on just so that when I come to cap it, they're not going to move around because I, I was quite happy with where they were and I didn't want them to move. There we go, so I will cap that now. So this is the awful colour block now that I am about to do. I'm just going to file around what I can. And then I'm going to go in with the honey. And I'm just going to do like a, a, a sort of thick line to follow the pop tart acrylic around. Oh my god, my back hurts so much right now. And then I am going to put the pink Prosecco acrylic at the free edge. I'm not going to do a thick 
layer of this i'm just going to do a thin layer of this because on top of that i want to apply some shell and some dots so we don't obviously want it to be too bulky i really struggled to pick up this um the shell <laughs> i ended up picking it up with my fingers on the next nail So I'm just going to put a few dots under the honey acrylic. There we go. And then I will just cap the bottom, the bottom part, in clear acrylic. And I think this is the last nail. I'm going to apply the honey acrylic all over this nail. This is the one that I think looks very much like Hippie Shake, but it's got a really gorgeous shimmer through it. And then over the top of this, I'm going to pop some of those spangles. So I'm going to put these on while that acrylic is still wet to reduce bulk. <laughs> And then I'm going to put the rest of the shell onto this this nail. This is where I had to pick them up because I just the, the brush just <laughs> I don't know if it was the brush or if it was the shell. I was like, come on guys, we're nearly at the end now. We can do this. And yeah. And in the end I still like to use my fingers. <laughs> this last piece I broke in two because it was quite big. So I put one bit there. And then the last little bit goes at the very top. And then I think this one, again, I put some wet clear acrylic on before I capped it because I don't want that shell to move around. And then, yeah, and then I will cap it in clear. So once all the nails have set, I, I go ahead and file and buff them. And this is what they look like. I think they look gorge, apart from that awful colour block nail. Um, oh my god, it's top cone time! This is clearly the best part. Um, I'm using my, I think it's SBD London top coat or SBD top coat, I can't remember. I've had it for like ages. And actually this is my last bottle and it's in terrible condition. The bottle I mean. It's had some knocks and bumps, so I'm just finishing it up. Can you see what I mean about the spangles? You can't really see them on the lavender or the pink, but when the light hits them, they just give you this most amazing, like, I don't know, they're just really, really pretty. And then the marble nail with the hubba bubba dots on. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Because you're a hashtag plonker. Look how dry this makes my hands. No wonder my cuticles just, like, you know, my cuticles have no hope, do they? If my hands get dry like this when I do nails. This is the one that just don't, just don't look at this one. I don't even know, I don't know, it's just, just, just a really, really terrible nail. Why am I whispering? Moving on quickly, <laughs> this one is lovely. I really like this one. I was getting a little bit top coat happy then, wasn't I? There we are. And then this is, I think this is probably my favourite. This was the oh yeah oh i thought the first one was the ombre this is the ombre <laughs> but this has got to be i think the first one and this one are my favorites i just love the spangles with the shells there we go okay so i'm gonna top no i'm not gonna top coat them i'm gonna put them in the lamp for 60 seconds and this is the finished nails by the way this little palette thing um was also from beauty big bang and if you're worried about buying it and thinking it's going to break 
in um in transit it's not because i thought it was made of like um i thought it was like a crystal but actually when you when you get it and you pick it up you're like oh and it, i think it's actually made of some kind of resin because it's more it's more like acrylic so it won't break so don't worry but this is the finished set i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing um and now i know what the day is i will see you all tomorrow which is thursday so have a lovely wednesday <laughs> oh okay bye